Today, we will continue working on the Trips Planner app. We plan to introduce a new feature that will allow users to upload banner images for their trips. We will perform some code refactoring to improve the app's overall structure. Finally, we will also work on introducing the past trips section into the app. For uploading the images, I will use the Amplify storage category, which comes with default built-in support for Amazon S3. I need to add the Amplify storage to the app. I will use the command Amplify Add Storage for that. I selected the content options and entered a bucket name. The authenticated users will be able to create, read, and delete files, while the guest users will get a read-only access. The Amplify push command will create the resources in the cloud. I updated the file info.p list inside the iOS runner folder to enable accessing the phone camera and photo library. I updated the configure amplify function inside the main.dart file to add the amplify storage plugin. I created the storage surface.dart file inside the common surfaces folder. The storage service will use the Amplify storage library to upload an image into an Amazon S3 bucket. I will use a value notifier object to track the progress of the image upload. But first, I needed to create a trip controller Dart file. I created it inside the trip controller folder. The app UI will use this controller for editing and deleting a trip using its ID. The controller will also be used for uploading an image for a trip. Back to the Upload Progress dialog Dart file. Here, we will use the Upload Progress value notifier from the trip controller to display a progress bar for the image upload in this dialog. I created a trip page folder inside the trip UI folder. Inside it, I created the delete trip dialog Dart file. I used the file to create a dialog for the user to confirm deleting the selected trip. Inside the trip page folder, I created a new Dart file and named it selected trip card.dart. The selected trip card widget will check if there is an image for the trip and display it in a card widget. If not, then it will display the placeholder from the app assets. The widget will display a row of icon buttons that the user can use for uploading an image, deleting a trip, or navigating to the edit trip page.
I created the trip page Dart file inside the trip UI folder. The trip page will use the trip provider to get the trip details using the ID. It will use the selected trip card widget to display the data. I updated the trips planner app Dart file to add the go route for the trip page. I created a folder inside the trip UI folder and name it Edit Trip Page. Inside it, I created the Edit Trip Page Dart file. The app will use this file to display a form for the user to edit the selected trips. When the user completes the editing and click on the OK button, the app will pass the details to the trip controller provider to edit the trip. I updated the trips planner app to add the edit trip page route. I ran the app and created a new trip. I can see the options for editing, uploading images, and deleting the trip on its page. I successfully uploaded an image for the trip and I can see the upload progress indicator. Finally, when I select to delete the trip, the app displayed a confirmation dialog and deleted the trip successfully. I have simplified the code for the trips list page by removing unnecessary widgets and replacing anonymous function types. To improve the code readability, I used trailing commas. Additionally, I followed best practices by using the orientation builder widget to determine the current orientation of the app. I refactored the trip page by converting it to a consumer widget and removing unnecessary widgets. I also added a retry button in case we receive an error from the trip provider. I created a router.dart file within the common navigation router folder and moved the routing configuration into this file in order to improve code maintainability and readability. I updated the trips planner app Dart file to remove the unnecessary logic of checking if Amplify is configured. The Amplify Authenticator will handle this and display a spinner if Amplify is not configured. I updated the main.dart file to remove the is Amplify successfully configured flag from the main function. I tested the app by creating a new account, adding a trip, editing the trip, uploading an image for it, and then deleting it. I updated the routes.dart file to add the busted trips and busted trip enum values. I created the navigation drawer dart file inside the common UI folder. Inside it, I created the options to navigate to the trips route and the bus trips route. I updated the trips list page 
to add the navigation drawer. The app will use a filter to gray out the card of the past trips. The color filter will use a list of double that I identified inside the colors.dart file. I created the folder trip grid view item inside the trip UI folder. Inside it, I created the Dart file trip grid view item card. Here, I will use a card to display the trip image. If there is no image, I will use the placeholder image. It will also display the trip name, trip destination, start date, and end date. I then created the trip grid view item Dart file. Here I will use the trip grid view item card inside an inkwell to display the trips. The card will be grayed out if the trip is a bust trip. I updated the trips list page to use the trip grid view item widget. The trip card dart file is not needed anymore. I created the past trips folder inside the trip UI folder. Inside it, I created the past trips list dart file. Here I use the past trips list stream provider to create a list of trips and display them in a grid view. Note the is past flag is set to true for this. I added the past trip list route to the router.dart file. I created the bus trip page folder inside the trip UI folder and then created the file selected bus trip card dart file. Here I am using a card widget to display the details of the bus trip. I am using the placeholder image if there is no image for the trip. I then created the past trip page dart file. This is a consumer widget that will use the trip provider to get the trip details using the trip ID. It will use the selected bus trip card and the gray out filter to display the details of the trip. I updated the router.dart file to add the past trip page route. I updated the inkwell on top function inside the trip grid view item to check if the trip is a past trip and use the past trip route. I run the app and created a trip in the past. I can see it in the past trip section. The app grayed out this trip. 